Hi, I'm Dawn Schuler, Soulful Business Coach and Corporate Trainer and Consultant. For 17 years, I've worked with hundreds of entrepreneurs, businesses, and organizations to help them be more successful, more productive, and to continue the passion and purpose that they started their business or career with in the first place. See, I believe you can have it all. You can have a business that feeds your soul and is successful. The key to that is to run your business like a business. That's why I decided to do the Love Your Business Deeply 15 day challenge, where every day I'll share one tip, idea, tool, or resource to really help you be the CEO of your business. So let's get started. Hi, it's Dawn here, and I'm excited to bring to you the Love Your Business Deeply Challenge. And um, it's interesting because we get inspiration from, from all sorts of places. And over the weekend, I was playing around with hand lettering uh, because I do like to dabble in color and art, and I do love my art supplies. And oh, I went on the Internet because I was having trouble with my my thin upward strokes and you can find anything on the internet right so I I found what I needed and it was part of a challenge and I thought you know that's really a great way to to get information out there and to be a resource and and so I was thinking well I know I've got lots of stuff to share I've been in business for over 17 years so I've got a ton of tools and resources and checklists and spreadsheets and and all sorts of things and I wanted to, to share that with you and so first of all thank you for those of you who are watching with me live and um, those of you who watch the replay. So one of the things I've noticed over the last 17 years I've been in business is that people start their businesses, their companies from a certain place. Usually it's because they want to help others, they have something to share, they know they can make an impact. Uh, maybe they want to make a little extra money to help their family. You know, whatever it might be, there's usually a reason or several about why they started their business. Most people don't start their business in order to run a business. And I've seen this play out over and over and over again with entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, even businesses who've been around for 30 plus years and who have a couple dozen employees. They may not necessarily know how to run a business and instead the business is running them it's kind of like a race it's it's you and the business who's winning you know are you are you feeling tired are you feeling like you're hustling all the time and you just you just don't know what else to do or you feel like yeah, there's so much to do that's always true by the way and you could be doing something you know for 12 hours every day in your business and it would never end and again that's true it, it won't ever end and so a lot of people get to that point where they go you know I, boy I, I, I started this business and I don't even know that I can tap into that whole reason why I did and I'm feeling drained and exhausted and especially for those of us who might have left a corporate job where we felt chained to the job or it was demanding too much of us well, now what are we doing, right? Are, are you in that place where you're working 10, 12 hours a day or feel like you should? It's because your business is running you and you're not running the business. It's also about energy exchange. I believe that every situation, every relationship, every transaction is about an exchange of energy. So, for example, if we go to the store and we buy bread and milk and eggs and we exchange that for money, we're getting something in return. Same thing with services. Our, we pay our CPA in exchange for him or her handling the beast of our taxes. We don't have to do it. Woohoo! Very much, um, you know, a, a very happy exchange there, right? But for some people, those passion-based entrepreneurs, those heart-centered entrepreneurs, the people who started their businesses because they wanted to change the world, they knew they could help people, they forget that they're in a business 
And the business's number one priority is to make money. And I know that might be hard for some of you to hear, but that's what it is. If you think about writing a book and publishing a book, and you've heard all the stories about how difficult it can be to get uh, picking up, picking up, picked up <laughs> by an agent or a publisher. Well, it's because that publisher has to look at, will this book sell? Are there any competitors out there? Is there a market for it? So they're looking at the business of a book. Same thing with your business. Now, you might be saying, oh, but it's not about the money. Well, maybe it's about other things, but it should also be about the money. And this is just the first in this series. This is going to be a 15-day series, by, by the way. And the whole focus is to run your business like a business. Now, if you're just doing it as a hobby, absolutely, more power to you. Do it as a hobby. I give you kudos for that. Do it as a hobby. No problem. But own that that's what you're doing. Acknowledge and be conscious and intentional and know I'm treating this like a hobby. Again, no judgment from me. More power to you. Go off and have fun with your hobby. But if you want to have a successful business, and you get to define success however you want, part of that success is going to be that it gives something back to you. And part of that may be money. Part of that could be energy. Part of that could be the knowing that you're helping people. But just knowing that you're helping people isn't going to be enough to run your business and to sustain your business. So there's all sorts of reasons why you started your business, right? And I actually I have, a, have a tool for you. I'll put the link to the tool in, in the description and in the comments. The first part is to reconnect with why you started your business. It might be because it was fun and exciting. It might be because it was a perfect use of your gifts and you got to um, stand in the spotlight and you got to showcase your expertise. You got to actually like be seen as, as credible and knowledgeable and, and competent, maybe even more than competent. Money as an opportunity, you could help out your family, you could make a little bit of extra money, you could um, go on vacations, all sorts of things. I'll talk about the money why in a bit. It could be because you wanted to make an impact in the world. You really want to make a difference. You know that what you're doing has that ripple effect. Fabulous. But if you're finding yourself in this place where you're pushing, 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 paddling madly upstream, then it's probably because of one of two things. One, you've lost touch with why you started your business in the first place and you need to get back in touch with that. And or two, your business is taking more from you than it's giving to you. Because our businesses need to give back. It's that energy exchange. It's that um, for every, uh, what is it, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. I really see that. It's why we're in friendships. And, and I see one of my lovely, dearest friends, Jerry, here um, watching this live. So I'm, I'm so excited that she's here because she's become one of my dear friends. And I would say, and um, happy for her to write in the comments if she agrees, that we each get something from being close friends. She gives me energy every time I'm around her. She's just this positive, bubbly spirit and she's wonderful to be around and and hopefully she gets something nice from me <laughs> uh, whatever that might be um, but I'm not going to engage in a relationship if I'm getting nothing back on a regular continuous basis of course there's always this you know ups and downs and gives and takes I'm talking about consistent same thing with our businesses if our businesses are completely taking from us in terms of time and energy and effort, then 
what are we what are we getting in return so again it goes back to if you're feeling that paddling madly upstream it goes back to two things one you've lost touch with why you started this business or this venture in the first place and two your business is taking more from you than it's giving back so then that goes back to the money piece because part of what your business needs to do is it needs to give back think about it think about all the businesses out there uh, you know, these wonderful organizations, these wonderful businesses are not going to be in business for very long if they don't make money, if they're not profitable. You can have a firm, um, let's think law firm or CPA firm where there's partners and and they're thinking succession and do they, are they going to get, um, you know, are they going to have people to carry on the business? And that may not be your thing. Okay, fine. But what about over these next 5, 10, 15 years that you're in business? Should it be profitable? Should it be supporting you? Should it be giving you more than what it's taking away? I believe yes. And this is part of treating your business like a business. If it's taking too much, you need to stop that. One of these, um, these days challenges over the next 15 days is going to be about standards and boundaries and how to set them and the importance of sticking to them and believe me sometimes sticking to your boundaries can be the hardest thing you ever have to do um, I know that from a very um, deep place but that's not today's challenge so that first part of, of the, the exercise that I want you to think about and you can do this in your head or on paper or you can um, whenever I share the link, you can go to the link and, and download the tool that I've prepared for you for this. That first page is about getting in touch with your why, why you started your business in the first place. And also, and I want you to fill in, it's, there's a heart on that page, I want you to fill in all the reasons you started your business. Second page has a dollar sign on it. And I want you to explore especially if you've never done anything like this, the money why. What does a profitable, successful business enable you to do? Maybe it's to pay off your mortgage quicker. Maybe it's to send a little bit of extra money to your college student for, um, you know, so that they, they can, like, take their friends and, and go to some, I'm trying to think, like, where's my favorite hamburger and french fries place? I can't, oh, Five Guys, yeah, go to Five Guys, right? Just as a little treat. Maybe you, you want to go on vacation. Maybe you just want to pay off some bills. Maybe you want to get ahead. Maybe you want to put away money for, for retirement. The money is important. And for some reason, some of us have been taught and told that we shouldn't care about the money, that it's not important. But we all live in a society where money is important. We've got to pay rent, we've got to pay mortgages, we've got to, we, we have, you know, depending on where we live, we might need a car. Um, if we don't have a car payment, we've got to put money aside for the inevitable car repair bills. We need money for gas and food and electricity and um, water and, and all those things. We might want to go get a massage you know, once a month. We might want to, you know, splurge and, and buy that, you know, that skincare set that we've been, you know, slobbering over. All of those can be our money wise. So what I want to leave you with today is that idea of connecting your, your deeper why of why you started your business, that deep place, with your money why because that's going to be crucial that's why I started this out that's why this is day one is because I wanted to help you make that connection between running your business like a business and that profit is part of that so I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this again I've got that that worksheet for you um, as, as soon as I put the the link in the description in the comments and I want, I want you to have a successful business. Again, whatever that means to you. And it can mean lots of different things to lots of different people. But I want you to love your business deeply. And 
be profitable. All right, this is Dawn signing out, and uh, have a fabulous, fabulous day. See you tomorrow. If any of what I've shared here resonates with you and you want to chat about your business, let's have that no-obligation conversation to see if there's something there. It may be just what you need to have the business of your dreams.